In case you haven't heard, phishing is one of the latest and not so greatest forms of cybercrime today. In fact, according to AAGIT, phishing is now the most common form of cybercrime, producing approximately 3.4 billion spam emails every day. Whoa. But by following best practices and prevention, you can learn to identify and avoid phishing lures. While hackers have many ways in which they create and send phishing emails, there are only a few key tips every user should know in order to stay safe and vigilant. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to talk about the five, count it, five tips for verifying email legitimacy. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. And while you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Number one, inspect. A great way to protect yourself from a phishing attack is to first validate the email address identity. Attackers may try to make their display name look similar to that of a person they're trying to imitate like your boss. By hovering over the display name with your cursor, you can find out if the email address actually matches the alleged sender or if it's just a spoof. You can compare this address with previous emails if it's from someone you regularly communicate with. And if the email is from an actual company, look them up and see if they're online to verify the address through the site that is official. Number two, check the email domain name. An email that's coming from a legitimate organization will almost always have the company name in the domain. One of the most obvious ways to clock a phishing email is when a large company has a domain name such as at gmail.com or any other free email service provider. You can also look for the domain name in a search engine such as Google. Search engines can be great for making scams visible when they have awareness of them. A quick search on the internet can help you find out if anyone is experiencing the same issues as well. Number three, misspellings and incorrect grammar. If you receive an email that sounds like artificial intelligence wrote it instead of your boss, it probably was. As humans, we all have our own unique manners of speaking. This often shows in the emails that we write themselves. And if you receive an email from someone you correspond with regularly and they have more grammatical errors than usual or misspellings, this could be a red flag. Fishers from other countries tend to use online translators, which, as you can imagine, don't always return the perfect grammar or spelling. Not to mention, legitimate companies will also use a spell check feature before sending out emails. Number four, subject lines. A tactic that cyber criminals use when it comes to sending phishing emails is to leave the subject line blank. Doing this can help the hacker find out whether the email address they are trying to reach is actually legitimate. According to an Atlas VPN report, about 70% of all phishing emails contain empty subject lines. Just be careful not to mistake your mom's weekly inspirational quote for spam if she forgets to include a subject line again. Oops, sorry mom. Number five, unsecured sites. Make sure when dealing with website URLs, the site you are on starts with HTTPS. Also, if you cannot see a closed padlock icon next to the URL, don't release any sensitive information or download any files from that site, period. This may not necessarily mean you're entering into a phishing scam, but it doesn't hurt to err on the side of caution. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how to avoid phishing scams, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.